we have a relaxing day planned in Alaska. We're going to be going to the Chena Hot Springs about an hour away from Fairbanks. So today it's in the upper 60s, which is nice. It's cooled down a little bit. It's been in the 70s the last couple of days we've been in Fairbanks. It's nice to have a little bit of a cooler day for a hot spring. We are about five minutes away from the Chena Hot Springs on the Chena Hot Springs Road. There's a lot of little pull-offs here by the river. So we had a nice view of the little river here that we're parked by last night. You can see that. And you can hear it from the camper, so it's been really relaxing. The last time we were at a hot spring was in 2017, the first Europe trip that we took in Iceland at the Blue Lagoon. So it's been a minute, but we're excited to experience a hot spring in Alaska. <laughs> ah, there's one on your neck. There's a, why is there so many? There wasn't this much last night. I don't know. We just got back from the Chena Hot Springs. We loved it. It was a nice relaxing day for us. It kind of felt like a beach day, which is actually much needed after our drive to Alaska and our next adventure. It gave us a little bit of rest to prepare for our next adventure. So if you've never been to like a private owned hot spring that has admission to it it's usually has like showers and locker rooms so you come in put your stuff away in the locker if you'd like and then you shower before you go into the hot spring you enjoy the day at the hot spring and then you shower when you go when you leave it was the same thing for the blue lagoon and for this one we really enjoyed it it didn't really compare to the blue lagoon like the blue lagoon is on its own level but it is also like four or five times the price so it's not really comparable, but it was really fun as well. It was, it was relaxing. The water is like 105 degrees. And the first time we went in, we kind of, we sat in there for like 20, 25 minutes. Then we went to the patio to cool off a little bit. 
And then the second time, I couldn't make it that long anymore. I guess that my body temperature increased from the first time. I don't know, each time I couldn't stay as long. Uh, and you need to stay hydrated, bring water. The heat really dehydrates you. You can really feel that you're, you come out kind of weak. That's dehydration. We were drinking water, but we still feel a little bit dehydrated. So I want to make an iced matcha latte and sandwiches for a late lunch. So I use honey as my sweetener for my matcha latte. So I have about a tablespoon of honey here. And I boil a little bit of water. And I wait for the water to cool down a little bit because I heard if you boil, like pour boiling water over honey, it kills all the good stuff in it. I don't know if that's true, but so I wait. Uh, so this is boiled water that's sat for a little bit. And I just melt the honey first. So the honey has melted in there and I add my matcha in there. I do, I don't know, about a tablespoon maybe. Something like that. And I just plop it in there. And I use, I bought this thingy on Amazon. It's great. This is a rechargeable one, so it's... And I just mix it all together. Be careful because it might splash. Because matcha has a tendency to clump a lot. So this, I really recommend getting this. You're not going to get the clumps out with just a spoon. You need a, a whole gadget like this. Okay, that's good enough. And that's pretty much the the hardest part. I'm gonna put make it in this so it stays cold for the day. So just pour in some milk. Let's do about half. Pour this in. And I do a little mix again just to make sure it's all mixed together. And I add a few ice cubes. And that's really it. Mix it together again. And it's ready. Yum. Mm. Here you go. So for our lunch, I'm going to be making these croissant sandwiches. These are our go-to sandwiches. They're super easy and delicious. So we get these croissants at Costco. So I cut the croissant in half and I put a nice tablespoon or whatever of just put mayo on it. This is from a whole ham that I cut up off camera because I didn't want you to see me wrestling with the ham. So we're going to put in a nice thick slice of ham on there. Avocado. I love avocado so I'm going to put in a bunch. And then I put in whatever greens we have on hand. Today we have spinach. Sometimes we have lettuce, sometimes we have, even cabbage tastes good with this because it's all crunchy. You want a crunch in here because everything else is pretty soft and kind of buttery and flaky with the croissant. So that's it for the sandwich. It's like a ham avocado croissant sandwich. And we serve them with tomatoes. These are nice to pop in between bites of the sandwich. Mmm.